Uh, good afternoon. My name is Jose Velasco. I'm with the J Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, today, uh, during this Hyperwall talk, I want to present a new technology we are developing at JPL. Uh, we believe this technology has a lot of potential and should enable breakthrough science in the near future. The technology is called the Omnidirectional Optical Communicator. It's a system that we are developing for space applications, more specifically for swarms of spacecraft. Basically, you can have formation flying, you can have a constellation of, of spacecraft communicating amongst themselves at very high speeds. So this uh, Omnidirectional Optical Communicator has two main features. You can see it on the top. It looks like a soccer ball, and that's the communicator. And so the two main features are, first, it should allow for gigabit per second communications among spacecraft. That's one. And the second one is that, because it has multiple facets, it could allow communications between one spacecraft and up to 32 spacecrafts simultaneously. So that, that is the key advantage of this new system. And so during uh, some of the presentations, atmospheric sciences presentations yesterday and poster presentations today, uh, some of the applications, uh, prospective applications for these new communication systems were discussed. And I'm gonna go over that in some detail in the coming slides. So for instance, uh, here's one application. This is uh, what we call a formation flying. Basically, we have several spacecraft all talking to each other at gigabit per second uh, speeds. Just to give you an idea, you have at home, you guys have looked at 4K high definition or ultra high definition uh, movies. Those movies typically uh, have about eight megapixels per frame. And normally you require to stream that data, about 60 frames per second. What that requires in speed is about 25 megabits per second. So again, ultra high definition, 4K resolution. You need 25 megabits per second. With this system, for a given set of parameters, you could obtain speeds up to one gigabit per second. So in principle, you could transmit 40 4K ultra high definition movies simultaneously. So that's the power of this new technology. So uh, you can see this is an application in which this formation flying communicates at super high speeds, and this set of spacecraft could form a bigger uh, spacecraft or a bigger instrument. And the way uh, that works is that by combining the information of each instrument or each spacecraft collects, then you can form what's called a synthetic aperture, a larger aperture. And that's enabled, it will be enabled by this kind of uh, communications. In the middle, you can see this is a spacecraft we're designing. This is a design concept right now. Uh, but that is going to be used for uh, testing the omnidirectional optical communicator. Another application that we're looking at is if you can communicate so fast, then you could uh, basically step establish a radio telescope in space. So in this case, we are looking at about 60 to 80 CubeSats. They all could be connected optically at gigabit per second uh, rates. So in that case, uh, each spacecraft will be furnished also with a high frequency receiver, say, so they can collect data and they can re in real time combine the data at those high speeds. So anyway, so, so those, those are some applications. Also here I borrowed uh, one application that this is uh, a mission that's being flown right now. This is from, uh, flown by Gather, uh, NASA Gather. It's uh, called MMS. It's the uh, uh, Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission. It's basically taking a look, a closer look at the mag magnetosphere. And so well, I, uh, the reason I brought that is um, slider in the movie and the next one that you see is that uh, we believe that this kind of missions 
could uh, be uh, suited for this kind of uh, optical communicator that we are developing. Let's see. There you go. So in this case, uh, this is uh, a set of uh, four uh, spacecraft. They are uh, forming uh, what's called formation flying uh, arrangement. And so we believe that a uh, uh, mission like this uh, could really be help having a, our optical communicator uh, on board. The idea is that, as I mentioned before, if you have high uh, resolution sensors on board, that you could uh, basically com share the information among the, the spacecraft and then process it on one of the spacecraft and if needed, send the process data back to Earth. So this is just another view of uh, another animation we found there, of the same uh, MMS mission. But again, uh, yes, the, the point here is to show that if furnished with a high communications, high, high data rate communication system, you could achieve, uh, you could definitely improve your, your science and you could definitely implement breakthrough science in your system or in your mission in this case. So here I show you on, on the left, you can see this is the an embodiment of the optical communicator. It has 32 facets. Uh, so in each facet, if you were to extract that facet, you would see a trans meter. It's a, this is a telescope, it's called a free space telescope. Basically it has a laser diode, it has a collimator, a mirror, a MEMS mirror, and then the beam comes out. So the idea is that the beam comes out and hits the MEMS mirror, and now the MEMS mirror is a, is a super fast, steerable mirror, so you can actually you can see an animation of how the, the motion of the uh, mirror occurs. And basically, this mirror, just to give you an idea, provides you a steering range of 24 degrees, plus minus 12 degrees. And it could go from one end to another one in one millisecond. That's one thing, so it's super fast. The other thing is, it has uh, a driver that has 14-bit resolution. So uh, taking your 24 degrees, taking into account your 14-bit resolution, what it tells you is that you can steer the beam with a resolution of about three arc seconds, almost uh, one um, milli-degree. So that, that's super fast and it's uh, super accurate. So this is, a, uh, obviously, for our device, this is an enabler. We are looking at other options too, but this is definitely one uh, technology that, that is helping us uh, implement this new concept. Here is uh, what we envisioned uh, uh, our mission will look like. Uh, it's a 6U CubeSat. You have an animation where you're going to see the, uh, the, the transceiver of the uh, optical communicator deploying. And uh, you want to see next the actual tran transmitter coming out. And so this is just to show the, the guts of the system, how this uh, embodiment would operate of the uh, embodiment of the optical communicator might operate in the future. And uh, so that is the actual uh, telescope Transmitter telescope, it's free space telescope. It has the uh, diode, collimator, and the two mirrors, including the MEMS mirror. And basically, you can see a trace coming out, which shows the beam coming out. It's a little slow, but it's coming. <laughs> but you can see the beam diverging a little bit, and then it's collimated, and then reflected by the fixed mirror. And then this is the MEMS mirror that's going to be activated uh, electronically. Then you have your beam coming out. So you can, again, do plus minus 12 degrees. And so you have multiple facets. 
then you can cover the whole sky simultaneously. So that's why we call it uh, omnidirectional. In reality, it's a multiple link system, but we call it omnidirectional. So here's an application I discussed. Uh, so just slow again, but what we meant to show here is an application for this uh, radio telescope. It's placing about 60 to 80 CubeSats behind the moon in L L2 uh, uh, orbit. And the goal in this case is to furnish each uh, CubeSat with the optical, optical communicator and with a receiving system, like uh, could be a radio frequency receiver or could be an uh, optical telescope. And the idea is that these 60 CubeSats, as they orbit and they collect data, they share the data among themselves. So that is, uh, so I think that's, a, uh, we believe this is a breakthrough science and we're pushing for this uh, concept. Uh, and uh, if anyone's interested in discussing this further, please contact me after my talk. Uh, so that is one of the, the, the systems that, or the concepts that we're pushing. And this is the other one I discussed a little bit earlier. So in this case, what we call this is a REPAR, is a reconfigurable phase array radar. So basically, each, an, each uh, CubeSat could have a radar system. So you can do cloud measurements, you can do wind measurements, or you could do uh, other types of uh, applications where radars are needed. And then the, the thing is, each and then each CubeSat could collect that radar information and then send that information to a master optically. So imagine if you could have, say, a radar operating high frequencies with a one gigahertz bandwidth. You could actually communicate that data real time to the master. And when it's processed, you can create your image or whatever it is you are looking for, and then send that information back to the ground. So basically, so, th so that's, that's what the optical communicator is all about. It's just, we believe it's an enabler of like, true science. And again, if you uh, have any questions, let me know. Uh, we can discuss after the talk. But uh, I think that's uh, my last one. Yeah, thank you very much.